Hey guys, I'm here with a dreadlock friendly hairstyle. Let's get into it. So I'm going to start by braiding the back of her hair down and rubber banding the ends. And I'm going to sew these braids together to give it a flat base. Wrap it with some protective um, hair tape, paper, barber tape, neck paper, whatever you guys call it. Put that cap on. Y'all see my assistant making views up in the video and she was having a hard time putting some inventory away as you can see. But she ended up getting it, you know. She, she may see a raise in her future, but... Yeah, she finally got it together, and she was really, really excited about that. So, yeah, so back to the hairstyle. We're going to sew this cap down all the way around, making sure that it is firm and, you know, attached to those dreads before I start adding any hair to this. So, I sewed all the way around the perimeter, ensuring that the stitches were secure and that this quick weave is going to be sturdy. You want to add some Pump It Up Old School Doodle Brown. Spray that. We're going in with the Loose Wave Bundles. And we're bonding the mid. This is what a quick weave is. It is when you use bonding glue to attach the hair to a cap. So we're doing that. When I got to the top, I decided to do a circular closing motion. Because we're not leaving any hair out, obviously. And we want to give it a look where, you know, it's all sealed in. And once the ponytail is on, it's all seamless. I'm going to cut that extra cap away. And then don't forget the cap at the back, because sometimes we be we forgetting back there. But as you can see, it's coming along nicely. I'm going to ponytail that top part. She retwisted her hair already. I'm going to add a braid and do the same thing I did at the back. Ponytail, make sure I got the flexibility, because you don't want no stiff, stuck ponytail that you can't adjust. I'm going to protect her locks again, add my paper in. And you want to sew this part as well, because in my experience, I have had ponytails fall off, okay? So once you add that paper, be sure to stitch that entire braid and paper together because yes it's a protective layer but you don't want that ponytail weight of the hair to make it fall off so when I wrap my ponytail I firmly press you don't want to do it at the exact end and then you work your way up wrapping it all the way through I add bonding glue to the braid and the track and it came out you know flawless now we're going to go in and do our wrap around part where you take a piece of the ponytail from the back and wrap around the top to give a seamless look as you can see it was giving baby hairs on swim locks are fresh and she has a full head of hair curly a different texture a new look it's just giving everything try this now